Hi everybody! In today's video we're going to have a look at sonorants and obstruents. What are sonorants? Well first of all they're sometimes also called resonance because they really resonate in the mouth. They are sounds that are produced with continuous airflow and no restriction to cause air friction. This is really important to remember. Here are some examples for sonorants. E, I, M, Y. All of these are sonorants. In English, all sonorants are voiced. That means all the vowel sounds, for example, E, Ö and I, but also all the other monophthongs and diphthongs. The three nasals, m, n, n, the two semivowels, y and w, and the two liquids, u and r. Now, if you'd like to find out more about any of these sounds or groups of sounds, check out my other videos on my channel. Now, what about obstruents? They are exactly the opposite. So these are sounds that are formed when the airflow is stopped. For example, p or g. Or when the airflow is obstructed or restricted in some way and we can hear the air turbulence. So this causes air turbulence and you can hear that. For example, f, f, or z. In English, all obstruents are consonants, because I told you already that all of the vowels are sonorants. So all of the obstruents, well, they have to be consonants. Now, they can be voiced or unvoiced. For example, here are the different groups. First up, the plosives, or sometimes called stops, because the articulators form a full closure and then are suddenly released. So in English we have p, b, t, d, k, g. Some of those are voiced and the others unvoiced. Another group that belongs to the obstruents are the affricates. We've got two, ch and J. The next group is the fricatives. F, v, th, th, s, z, sh, z. Again, some of these are voiced and others are not. And if you'd like to find out more about these groups of sounds or individual sounds, please check out my other videos. Now, which ones are voiced and unvoiced? Actually, I think you can hear this also because the unvoiced sounds are so much quieter than the voiced ones. But like I said, you can find a video on the entire phonemic chart on my channel. If you have any other questions about this topic or another phonology topic, please leave a comment below.